Hey Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're looking at set 910030 Snack Shack. Now this is from the Bricklink Designer program where they have for a limited time, you could go on there and order uh, up to two copies and they will only make 30,000 of them worldwide. So this is definitely a collector's item um, set. I have a love-hate relationship with the Bricklink Designer program. I love their designs, especially when it comes to the small ones, uh, because they're you know nice and they're full of detail. It's the larger ones that I'm a little iffy on because the building experience kind of falls flat for me. So when it came around in, I think it was February, uh, this launch, most people were going after the Mountain Fortress. I immediately zeroed in on the Snack Shack because it was the smallest set. And based on my previous exam or previous experiences, I thought this was going to be the best one. So I picked it up. Let's take a look at it. So having built previous ones, this feels almost like a different version of the 1950s diner. It's smaller, more compact. There is a less color, uh, but I think this one is actually easier to play with than the 1950s diner. You still have all the details, including like the little detachable propane tank off on the side. Uh, you have a little bit more um, environment with the tree and the sand color. You have some animals thrown in with the seagull and the rat. Uh, you only get two minifigures, uh, the female customer and the man who's running inside the snack shack. Uh, the whole snack shack itself is definitely made to be a little bit rounded, giving just that different look so it's not so boxy. Um, I do like the construction of this because you have a left and right wall that are built upright. When it comes to this whole front section, that's all built on sideways. And then the top roof section is actually built upright, but it's only attached in from the various sides, not from the top down. So that, that was a, an interesting build experience, but that is partly to get all the slopes right. As for stickers, uh, the ones that you get are the, uh, the sign, as well as the menu that's off to the side, and a rounded sticker that goes on the door which is also brick built. Now, I said it's great for play, and that's because instead of just lifting off the roof and trying to squeeze your hand in there, they made this whole back wall flip down. Now you're thinking, well, now you have this whole cooking station that's in the way. Well, that's built straight onto <laughs> some jumpers. I'm just at, at a weird angle so that you can completely take off that section, have your cooking station off to the side, then you can get at it and put your hand in there to reposition the employee. You got his, the very clever deep fryer. In fact, the uh, designer of this said that the deep fryer actually is one of the things that came first. And then it was like, well, I need to put it into something and the snack shot came later. Uh, you have a fridge off to one side and on the, the wall that's hard to see, it's, it's in the back, which is technically the front of the model. You have a whole bunch of ingredients that the uh, employee will use to help make what I assume to be chicken sandwiches. Um, that's what the lady's walking away with. We're deep frying some chicken, and then there's this little press right here as one of the cook cooking stations. So it's kind of either a press or a grill. Then you have this mixer, which uh, uses a, uh, uh, a screwdriver as the, the little mixing part, which is probably for mixing up the batter. And then you have all the other ingredients that are in here. They did a really good job at, well, that's hot sauce, that's soy sauce, that's mustard, so on like that that there's just some really, really clever part usage in here um, that I, I think shows again that whole expert level of detail that LEGO doesn't necessarily always give, but fans always do. Fantastic set, 
$50 is a high price for the piece count. However, detail wise, this thing is dense. It's, it's a rather heavy little set. And at the time of recording this, uh, it recently came out. So the secondary market uh, markups on this haven't got insane yet. So I think uh, last time I looked, there was about, it was one for like 67 bucks, which I think is still a fantastic deal for a tiny little model like this with tons and tons of detail. So again, if any of this is interesting, I definitely recommend sooner rather than later checking it out. It's set 910030 Snack Shack.